We're here with uh, Councilman uh, Paul Manson, Democrat at large, City of Maslin, and tonight we're um, asking uh, the Councilman uh, Manson to look forward uh, across 2015 and tell us uh, what his priorities are in terms of legislation uh, for the City of Maslin. Well, I'm on community development, so a very important thing to me is what's starting to happen at Republic Steel right now, the old Republic Steel property, the Depedro property on the south side of Maslin. Um, I have one business that the property owners are going to be starting, the way I understand it, and then they're soliciting uh, you know, other businesses to try to get them in there, and they have tracts of land anywhere from 5 acres to 200 acres. So hopefully in the next year or two that will be pretty much uh, uh, moving along. And that was something, I was looking back at some of my old records and when I first ran back in 2002, I didn't make it. But the questionnaires I got from the newspapers and stuff, that was one of my big priorities at that time and it remained that way right up until now to get that Republic Steel property done. And they've done most of it. They've done it. We've approved some uh, environmental studies and stuff like that along the way that was funded by them and the state. But uh, they've done it pretty much on their own. And it looks like everything's ready to move. They've been doing the railroad tracks and stuff there and uh, have an engine operating down in there now, I believe. And they're ready for deliveries in February, I think it said, maybe February 1st. Other than that, it's just generally, uh, even though we are in the black for this year, if you heard what the mayor right. said, um, if we don't get another, uh, another safer grant, we're still back in the hole. Um, we're out because of the safer grant, because of about 830 or 40 thousand dollars of one-time things this year that really went a long way for us to help us plug the holes and provided us for the, with the carryover that we had at the end of the year by not appropriating more of it to spend. But it's, uh, we have to do something on that. What's eventually, the prospects, the, eventually they will be, those firemen will be coming back on our payroll. Whether it's now, whether, we, whether you know, if it's not approved. We the safer the, grant. Right, yes. If we don't, it's not approved for a new one. Then we're going to have to take a lot of looks at look at things. What are the chances of approval disapproval? You would have to ask the fire chief. Okay. And the mayor. I really do not know. Okay. The only thing I'd say is probably based on need, and I'm worried if we're getting better, um, how the need would be judged. Um, on the um, plan to uh, get the city out of fiscal emergency. Uh, what what do you uh, are, do you have an idea of what might be uh, coming out of the commission on that? No, I don't. Um, all I can say is I attended their meeting today, and when the mayor, mayor spoke, she talked about maybe having uh, several options, maybe that we could look at, and maybe decide from there what we need to do. But we're uh, we're still not out of the woods yet. We have to do what we did this year, I think, for about four more years yet. Four more? I believe. Okay, I so. Believe. We okay. have to. They actually used the term when they said they would, uh, the state auditor, Laura, that works for them, Brown, I believe is her name. Um, they said when they get some of these proposals that the mayor's looking at, they would run them, run the numbers on them, and see what they would do for us. And. You know, depending on what we want to commit to capital improvements, commit to streets and stuff like that, we got to be able to, you know, there's got to be a way to fund those things. So uh, she referred to it as a hole we would have to fill, okay. fill dollars. So you don't know if it's going to be on the expense side or revenue raising side? I'm saying it'll probably be on the revenue raising side. So but some kind of a tax proposal? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. We just just defeated an income tax, so I doubt it for as many people that are uh, excited about trying that again, but there will have to be, have to be revenue. Okay. Have to be. 
Looking, looking back over uh, 2014, anything sticks out that you're particularly pleased about having achieved? Hmm. Maybe uh, we came as fast as we have come so far. I mean, uh, we were just, uh, it was sometime in 2013, I think late summer, early fall, when they actually, the state declared us in a fiscal emergency. And then we started, they started to meet with the commission in November, but we didn't do anything until like May. In June, May, we, May and early June, we passed uh, the street lighting fee. We did the stuff with the tax credit. And uh, so you think the uh, council was an important part of making progress in well, we 2014? Well, we'd still be in trouble. Right. You know? Right. People don't like to do that, but I mean, that was part of what goes on here, you know. Uh, we have to come up with a plan. Or then, if we don't come up with a plan timely enough, then you're looking at possible mandatory cuts on a monthly basis. But we avoided that. Okay. Well, thank you, uh, Councilman Paul Manson, Councilman Large, City of Maslin.